Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Dusty here from thinktutorial.com. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to add and manage tables within Google Docs. So using tables, you can split your content into obvious columns and rows like you would in something like Microsoft Excel, uh, Google Sheets, which is more of uh, you know Google's native uh, spreadsheet software. But if you're wanting to insert and work with tables within Google Docs, the first thing that you need to do um, is go up and go ahead and decide where you want the table to be. Put your cursor there and then go to insert and then go to table, which is the second option. And then something that I like is they actually give you a visual of exactly what your table is going to look like. So if you want a three by three table, you just kind of hover over this here. If you want a uh, three by five, you can go uh, right here. And then when you're ready, you just click there and then your table is automatically inserted into your Google document. Now, in order to move around a table within Google Docs, uh, you can select your cursor and click on an individual cell that you want to type in, or you can use the normal kind of keyboard shortcuts to move around a spreadsheet. Tab will take you left to right. Shift tab will take you right to left. And then if you want to go up or down, uh, you can just select the arrow keys as I'm doing here, and that will take you to specific rows in your table. Now, when it comes to your table, you can customize it in any way that you want. The first way of doing that is by selecting a line or a cell and then going and dragging here to increase the size. As you can see, if I drag down, that will increase the size of the row. Uh, if I drag up, that will decrease the size of that individual row. The same thing goes for columns. I can click and hold here and I can decrease or increase the size of a column easily by just clicking, holding and dragging the line wherever I want it until I get my desired size of the actual column or row that I'm working with. Now, when it comes to working with text inside of a table, you just select that double click it to select that or what you can do is you can click and hold and drag over multiple cells. Now if you want to format where the text alignment is within an individual table, select the actual rows or columns that you want to adjust as I'm selecting this entire table here and then I'm going to go up and center uh, that text. So I'm going to align that text uh, to the center of that cell. Now whenever I type something into the cells that I've changed that formatting in, you can see that now that text is going to be centered right here because I have formatted that to do do so in all future cells in this table. There are a couple of other things that you can do. Obviously, you can change the color of text within a certain table by selecting that text and any of the formatting that normally works with text within Google Docs, like changing the font style. So if we want to change the font style to something different here, we can go here, select the different font style that'll change that there. Same thing goes for size. We can change the size of the text in that individual table that we've selected. But what most people like to do is change the color of the text or the background of that table. So if we want to make this line of the table a different color, we would highlight it and then we would go up here to where you see background color, select that drop down menu, and then go ahead and choose a background color. And as you can see, that selected row is now going to have the background color of our choice. Same thing goes for columns, click and hold, select all of the column here, and then go ahead and select a background color of your choice. And that will change the actual background color of that column. Next, I'm going to show you how to add or remove columns and rows. So what you can do is you can actually right click on this here. And I, if I want to insert a row above where I clicked, I can just go ahead and select this here. I can insert a row below or a column to the left or to the right. So we're going to insert a row below. As you can see, that adds a row below the one I selected. And it also applies all formatting that that individual row that you clicked on has as well. Same thing goes for columns. I can right click here, go to insert column to the right. That will apply all the formatting and insert a column to the right. Uh, you can do command or control Z to undo like you normally would within Google documents. And the last thing I'm going to show you is table properties. If we select the entire table here, we right click on that and then go to table properties. We can see this option comes available here. The table border, we can increase the actual size of that. Uh, and then if we click OK here, you can see the actual outline of the table, the lines here, the individual lines, the thickness uh, of those lines have changed. And we can go back now and right click, go to table properties, and then you can see uh, we can adjust a lot of things here, like the dimensions of the column. So if we know exactly how wide and how high we want our columns and rows, we can change that here. Table alignment, we can change this uh, to be left, center, or right, like I showed you earlier. And then once you've made all of the changes that you want, you can go ahead and click OK, and that will make any changes that you applied there within table properties. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to help me out by liking and sharing this video. 
And don't forget to subscribe for more great technology tutorials just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.